Hey guys, it's Tinker Taylor here again today with the second part of the high school build. Um, I do apologize, this is up a bit late, but, uh, yeah, today's not gone so well, but that's fine. I'm um, still getting the video out today. Uh, unfortunately, there's no screenshots at the end of this video because, uh, yeah, I can't actually open The Sims at the moment. It decided to crash on me, so, uh, yeah, unfortunately, no screenshots at the end. Um, however, I do believe... Actually, I can't even say I have uploaded it. I don't think I have. Um, look, I'm going to sort out my computer issues because it's been having a few issues lately. And then I am going to uh, upload the photos to Instagram. So definitely go check out the Instagram because... The photos will be over there. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have time or the ability to take the screenshots today. Um, but, you know, we're here. We're getting it done. So, today's video is basically just furnishing, furnishing the rest of the build. Um, I tell you, this took me forever. Like, I... I it took me five hours, but it also took me two days, and the fact that I didn't, uh, I didn't do it all in one go. I didn't do it five hours straight. I actually had to go and take two breaks, so I, I took a nap, and then I also just went to bed and woke up the next morning and continued it, as I mentioned in part one, but my goodness, I, I just needed a break from doing this, because it was just... There was so much to do and not enough, enough, like I, the, I guess you'd say sports building I'm doing right now, I, I'm like, what do I put in here besides just a million, you know, in that room it was basketballs and the previous, in another room it's going to be uh, foot oh, sorry, that was footballs. Another room is basketballs. This is like a cheer room. I'm like, oh my god, maybe they cheer inside. I don't know. Maybe when it's raining, they practice their go team cheers rather than their stunts. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it was very. It was confusing and frustrating to try and figure out what to put in all of these rooms and how to fill them without just putting the same thing over and over again, which I pretty much did anyway. But when I get to the science-y, logic-y side on, like, the other buildings, I do a lot more um, detailed, I guess, detailed builds. And I'm very keen for the particular, one of the particular rooms because it is, it's gorgeous. Or not gorgeous, but, like, it just, it... I love it. I think it looks so, I don't want to say like good, but it looks, yeah, it looks good. Um, and I'm pretty, yeah, pretty happy with it. Um, the cafeteria is pretty bland. I really, at some points I really did lose motivation and hope. I think... It's kind of at this point where I decide, like, I think I finish this, finishing this building, and then I go to bed, uh, because, honestly, I was running out of inspiration. Uh, I really wanted to create this sort of, not secret stairwell, but this quiet stairwell so that the noise didn't travel throughout the building, but... I also didn't want to block off the, like, the left side from the right side of the cafeteria, so I just, I just didn't, um, and I couldn't get the stairs to work for the life of me, so I just didn't, um, I left them the way I left them, and it, it's frustrating because I really wanted them to work, but for some reason the stairs and I just do not get along, uh, so... Yeah, we didn't 
we didn't do that. We didn't fix them, um, unfortunately. And there are no curved walls in this build, which I'm kind of sad about, but also with the style of the actual building, it wouldn't make, it wouldn't have made sense. So I just decided not to. Um, I've also put in, uh, you'll see in a sec, these little study rooms on the side. I've seen them at some schools and I think they are absolutely amazing to have these just little quiet study areas where you can just go in, get your work done, not have to worry about, you know, being bothered and, and you know, you just go in and get it done. Um, I didn't know how to exactly fit. I didn't want to just shove all the desks in the space and I didn't think it would work having massive desks everywhere, so... I just chose to put the desks in the corners and then this room here is more of like a little collaborative space but it's all in view of where the librarian would normally stay so you know there's no uh, yeah, there's no like nonsense happening there's no people goofing off or you know wasting time because the librarian's right there and they will tell you off or yeah wasting time um and then up here it's completely useless i'll be real uh it is a um exam hall I was trying to think of the word is it yeah, it's it's the purpose of it is an exam hall and I spent way too long trying to figure out these bathrooms, to be honest. I didn't need to spend this long on them. And I also probably should have done them the way I do them. In the end, I probably should have done them the other way around so that when you're in the hall, you can still access the bathroom. But I did not. So, yeah, you, you basically can't use these bathrooms. Um, when you're in the hall, like, you'd have to go into the study hall, into the bathroom. But I just by the time I'd done them, I was like, you know what, that's it, they're done. I'm not I'm not moving them, they're done. And then yeah, with the desks and everything, I just kinda I don't wanna say I gave up because I didn't I didn't give up. I just I really lost the ability to concentrate. Um but I promise some of the other buildings, some of the other rooms look much, much better than what you've been seeing recently. Um, I've been setting up these desks as if they, like the desks in the middle section, which have all of the random stacks of paper on it. I'm imagining like that's where all they stacked all the papers up and where they mark the, or not mark the exams, but you know, you hand your, your exam in and they tick you off so that they know that you've got your exam and so on and so forth. Um, back here is, I really wish they had a photocopier because that I would put that back there. That's what I wanted to put back there, but there doesn't seem to exist. Yeah, so I just, I didn't put a photocopier in because uh, unfortunately we don't have one. But I wanted to try and make the front desk area a bit more I don't want to say fun but a bit nicer than the rest of the place so that when people are coming in like your parents are coming in to pick up their, their kids or you know anything like that it looks nice um you know you want to give a good impression to prospective students and current families I guess um these Teachers offices, I did not do anything other than what you see right now. This is pretty much it. Because I yeah, actually that is it. I don't do anything else. I like I said to you before, I really lost the ability to concentrate and work and I was just trying to get things in and done. And that loaded I was like, you know what, that's good enough. Let's go next. What's the next room? Um and I did 
intend to come back and continue it, but I didn't. I completely, completely forgot that's what I was doing. Um, and since I'd finished furnishing this teacher's lounge bit, when I'd come back, I just kept going with the other buildings. Um, now, these bathrooms, my goodness, I don't know what I was thinking when I first tried to do them. You can see I'm doing all these weird, wacky shapes. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know, honestly, I do not know what I'm doing. Um, and I do fix it because, my goodness, what the heck is this? Um, and it ends up being, I think, five bathrooms instead of four. But yeah, like what on earth am I doing right now? Just utter chaos. That's just complete and utter chaos. So I do fix it. Uh, unfortunately, or I don't know, whatever you consider, but like I only had the two bathrooms at the ends with mirror, uh, with windows, sorry. Um, but Again, this is Sims, does the this, this Sims really don't care, but in reality there would be little little um little windows above the toilet or something like that because you need to have windows on a uh, space. I also struggled with the math room, but besides that I think the rest of the classrooms I do, I actually feel like I could accomplish something beyond one poster uh i put bookcases in because every math class is gonna have a million textbooks that are just ridiculous ridiculously heavy so i did put bookcases in but i feel like that just wasted space um but i did make also computer rooms because what school doesn't have a computer room so yeah, I had a little bit of fun just messing around, trying to fill in the blanks, I guess. Um, because, yeah, believe it or not, it's insanely difficult to do stylized classrooms that you know actually are the classrooms that you are saying that they are. Um, because, you know, in an English classroom, that's fine. You can put up posters of movies and books and like the have bookshelves and all that sort of nonsense but yeah other rooms you just such a struggle so um this room here is the chemistry room chemistry lab i guess um and i absolutely love it i think it's amazing because i end up putting a contaminate decontamination shower in there as well because you don't just have like the little, I couldn't find the little, it's like a sink basically and you just like, you can splash your face if you get anything on your face. So I couldn't find that. Um, but yeah, the decontamination shower is the same thing, same concept. Now this is going to be a biology lab and I really wanted to put... I don't know how to explain it, but like I just wanted it to look like a biology lab and I just couldn't get it to work because there isn't really anything in there that I could find that could make it look like a proper biology lab. I mean, every biology classroom I've seen has, I mean, A, it's way bigger than this. But B, it also has the little tables off to the side with, you know, the the um, Bunsen burners and beakers and all that sort of nonsense. And I just couldn't think and also couldn't find it. Um, so I just put a ridiculous amount of papers on the table because biology, you have to take a million and one notes. So that's what I ended up doing. Um, this is the physics classroom. I really, really, really wanted to put some form of like a racetrack because using physics you would use stuff like that, but I didn't. 
And then this other room here is the, like, geology or earth or environment or, you know, that, that sort of room where you look at earth. You look at geology, you look at rocks, you look at all that sort of nonsense. Um, this one here is the robotics room, which I absolutely love. I think it's so cute. Um, and if I'm not wrong, I'm pretty sure you can have a robotics club. So I just threw this together. Um, and I think it's so cute because imagine like coming into class every day and that, that's that's the class you get to do you, you get to build robots and that contributes towards your final grade at the end I think that'd be so cool but I haven't ever had a class that is just building robots although I have built robots in a math class before um I don't know how it related to maths but it was fun nonetheless this is, the room I just did was kind of like a theatre room, like a drama, arts, performing room. And then this one is a debate room, so you come in and you practice your debating skills. Um, and I'll be honest with you, towards the end I was kind of running out of ideas, hence why you have a drama studio and a debate room. But I actually kind of love them as well so I don't know I thought uh, you know we could just do you yeah, know the English maths history science art classes but why not do these cool interesting weird classes like these are um the chess table class well not a chess class but I guess it would be like a chess logic building skill room or like a, a it's not an actual classroom but they use it for like activities and after school activities sort of thing um but I'm pretty sure that's the last classroom I have to actually deal with so yeah these are pretty much all the classrooms and I am in love with these bookcases that you keep seeing me use everywhere I love the color combination I think they're just amazing anyway um this is pretty much the build so definitely let me know down in the comments below if you've enjoyed this if you also if you have um you can let me know by liking and subscribing because i am trying to come out with fantastic builds every week for you guys uh some weeks aren't as fantastic as others but i promise you there are some fantastic builds that i've got up my sleeve waiting to share with you and i know i've been saying that for a long time but i promise you you will get them. You just have to wait for when I get extremely busy and I have to use those as my builds, which will be soon, I promise you. I'm going to be way too busy in not too long. So there will be some funky builds coming out soon and I'm so super keen to show you guys and have you have a look at them because they are builds I am 100% proud of. But that is all for now. I will see you guys in the next build. Bye, guys.